I'll we'll just turn this on. I started casting when I was about seven, actually, when my mother bought me a... I think it was my mother bought me one of those kits with little latex moulds. And it was um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. And I cast thousands of dwarfs. I had them everywhere until my parents refused to um, actually uh, get me any more plaster. Um, in the 1940s, Rolls-Royce developed this, uh, this process to get very, very accurate ca precision casting for um, plane engines and jet, jet engines. And um, it involves keeping various slurries and things co constantly in motion. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a wax for the lost wax process and I'm going to do it into a three-piece plaster mould and it's of a dolphin that I found when I was out for a walk one day. Teaching off casting jelly, chocolate. Try and get a, an even surface over the whole thing. I'll trim it up afterwards. And I'll just use a rubber band, which is an old motorbike inner tube, cut into strips. I don't think Rolls Royce would have ever thought that people would be casting in oil drums in their back uh, backyard. And we put that in the tank. Every time I open a mould, whether it's mine or when, it, when I was teaching it, when it was a student's, I, I'd get really excited about it every time. And when I chip plaster out of moulds and yeah, it's just really, really interesting. It's, it's like a birth. It's a wonderful experience, yeah. And I've had that since I was seven. <laughs>